Hi, welcome to Imagination Builders. I'm Miss Sherry from the Community Library Network here at Post Falls, and today we're going to talk about abstract art. But before we get started, I want to remind you that we have grab and go activities at your local library. So run by the library after you see this video and pick up your grab and go, one per child. Okay, today we're going to talk about abstract art. Now, abstract art is crazy art. I love abstract art. A lot of people do abstract art. They play music and they just paint whatever comes out of their paintbrush. It's so much fun. Some of the um, great artists that we think of when we think of abstract art, we think first of Picasso. He was crazy with his, with his ideas and his paintings. They were worth millions of dollars. And he liked to take faces and just get them all crazied up. And he was very famous. There's also Matisse. Now Matisse had a, had a background in law. He was a lawyer, but he got really sick. So while he was recovering from being sick, he decided that he was gonna pick up painting. And he is one of the fathers of, of um, abstract painting. And this is some of his paintings. So today, we're gonna do some activities. Um, the first one is your grab and go, so you'll get to see that. And then there's a few suggested ones that you can do at home all on your own. All right, let's get started. In your grab and go comes a piece of paper that tells you the supplies provided. The contact paper, various decorations including a piece of ribbon and one magnet. You're going to need some glue to glue on that magnet. You're going to remove the back piece of paper off of your contact paper and then you're going to lay it down on your workspace face up. Then you're going to take all your little sequins and you're going to put them down. Make sure you tap them down so that they're down really good. Save room for your ribbon that's going to go at the very edge. You're going to cut it to fit. When you're all done, you're going to put a magnet on the back and then it will look something like this. All right. Good luck with your abstract art. And remember, you are an artist. projects for you. This painting right here, we're going to do our own version of. So what I want you to do is get a pen and paper and I want you to just close your eyes and a lot of abstract painting, when they do their painting, they'll put on some music to inspire them. So you can put on some music and I'd like you to close your eyes and I want you to put your pen on a piece of paper and I want you to color and just go all over and draw lines just like this painting here. and. Just paint, just draw, 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 and then open your eyes. And I want you to look at your drawing. And then I want you to fill in the spaces just like this painting is done, okay? And make sure you show Miss Sherry or you post it on our Facebook page. Also, there's another type of abstract art that we like to do, and that's like this one. This one is from a magazine. It's where they took little pieces, and they cut out pieces, and they just did a whole big collage of all these different characters. So I'd love to see you take a piece of paper and just cover it with stuff from magazines and whatever you can rip up, make sure it's something you have permission for, and make your own collage and your abstract art out of magazine clippings, okay? I can't wait to see you guys. I'm so glad you came and tuned in today. Make sure you get your grab and go. And it's first come serve, so when they're gone, they're on. So come on in and remember, you are an artist.